Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm extremely pleased to share with the House today that a long-standing dairy cooperative in my riding is continuing to make immense valuable contributions to Ontario's dairy industry and supporting rural communities. Since Gay Lee was established by a small group of farmers in 1958, its membership has grown to include more than 1,300 dairy farmers who work tirelessly throughout southwestern Ontario to produce, to produce 35 per cent of Ontario's cow milk. And last week, Gay Lee Foods announced that they will be investing $140 million over four years into innovative projects that will transform the face of the Canadian dairy industry. In response to the Dairy Farmers of Ontario ingredient strategy, Gay Lee's investment is unprecedented in Canada, and it will pave the way for a nutrition and nutraceutical grade dairy ingredients hub in Ontario. This investment means a $60 million expansion in Teeswater, a Bruce County village that will see more jobs and more prosperity because of this new venture. It also means they'll be transforming the industry into a new and creative way that will allow Gay Lee to serve the needs of people across Ontario, and they'll also become a glo global leader. I had the honour of attending the announcement last week, and Mr. Speaker, it was awesome to see the excitement for what lies ahead, not only for Gay Lee, but for the milk industry overall in Ontario. I look very much forward to watching Gay Lee continue to grow and meet the changing needs of Ontarians, and on behalf of here in Bruce, Ontario, and a person who is proud to call Teeswater home, I want to extend my sincere congratulations to Gay Lee. We'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you. Thank you.